this could pretty much not define your season, but at least set the tone for the GLBC playoffs. Yeah, it's an important stretch, and you know, not just because it's road games where we're getting down. I think nine conference games left here, so every game's important. And I think our approach just has to be one day at a time. We can't look ahead. Um, just focus on on every day in practice, getting better, and um, you know, take the games as they come. But we got to really do a good job of preparing, uh, so we're in a good position to win those games. You're pretty much at full strength hitting this road trip too, aren't you? Yeah, we got Cole back this weekend. Um, Corey's ankles getting better. We've, you know, guys, we did some light stuff yesterday, and guys have today off. So, um, you know, really looking forward to to getting back in the gym tomorrow at full strength. Well, the game the other night against Unsel, when you were down, you didn't score a field goal for five minutes, and things weren't going well, but you just kept in there, kept playing your game. That has to use that as a blueprint for when you go on the road and things don't go good. Yeah, and that's, you know, that was the difference in the game is we didn't play very well in that first half. We got down 10, um, but be able to hang around and battle back and cut it to three by half uh, was really big. We came out of half, went on a little bit of a run, and we're able to, to get that lead back instead of having to, to dig out of a 10-point hole. So uh, that, that's something that we've talked about a lot with our guys is just, you know, really being able to execute even when the shots maybe aren't falling and there's a couple of things don't go your way is being able to, to stick with it and fight through some of that stuff. Talk to me about your, you guys hurt? Like your assisted turnover ratio. I don't go in deep into numbers, but I was looking at something really pretty phenomenal, is it? Yeah, and that's, you know, it's something we pride ourselves on, really taking care of the ball. And we got guys that, are really unselfish and make good decisions. And, uh, you know, we feel like if you can at least get a shot on offense every time and don't have those empty possessions where you're turning it over, um, you know, it gives yourself a better shot to win, obviously, the, the more the more chances you get at the basket. So it's been good for us. Drury isn't Drury in the past, but they're still a very capable, you know, they're still a very capable basketball team. Uh, you, what do you... Uh, Let's just do it that way. They're still very capable basketball. Yeah, and Drew, I mean, Drew's won the West ever since we've been in the GLVC. So, um, you know, they're, they're still the champs and still somebody proves them otherwise. And, uh, you know, they've had got off to a little bit of more of a rough start than probably we've seen. But uh, they've had some really good wins as well and kind of playing their best basketball right now. So, um you know, it's always tough to play at that place. Uh, they got guys on that team that have won a national championship, so they understand how to win and how to protect their home floor. So that'll be a big game for us on Saturday. One more question. With your offense, you guys shoot threes and whatever, but how important is when you do – how important is your spacing? Is something as simple as that, getting yeah. everybody where they need to be? Yeah, it's important because we want to hit cutters out of our motion. we got to have the, the floor space so those guys – uh, have a chance to get in there and get open, and then also being able to drive it um, and, and make plays, driving closeouts. Uh, for, you know, if you don't have the floor space, it's really tough to do that. So, um, you know, it's probably one of the most important things in our offense is keeping keeping the floor space and setting good screens and getting that ball moving so we can attack the paint. One more question I lied. Your bench has got – talk to me about your bench and just how they can – you don't really – as far as drop offs, you, you can you're not worried about putting these guys in for a brief spare, spell, and nothing goes down. That no, happens. yeah, and those guys have, have done a good job. Obviously, Billy has some experience, and then the two young guys, um, Jake Velke and, and Nikola Pesic, those guys have done a really good job. As you know, Jake is a true freshman, and Nick as a as a redshirt freshman, um, to be able to get in there and get some valuable experience as young guys, and they've they've played really well. I thought as the season has gone along. Um, they've gotten better and better, and uh, really, you know, really trusting those guys, putting them in the game, and and knowing that the, uh, you know, the effort level and execution is going to drop off from what the starters bring. Way well, a defining moment, if not maybe how you're going to fin finish it, not only in the conference, but maybe it's m more important for seeding in the GLBC tournament. Yeah, I know throughout the season, coach always has been telling us that good teams love to play on the road and they thrive on that pressure. And I think this is just an opportunity for us to take that and actually use it. We have four games that are definitely going to be competitive, all four of them. So um, none of them can be overlooked. And I think it's just going to be a great opportunity for us to uh, show how mature we've become over the season. You guys have stressed, stressed defense all year long. Did you 
defense has been great. We've held maybe we just missed it by 60 the other day, mm -hmm. keeping the team under 60. Uh, that's been the key. And on the road, defense really helps you win, doesn't it? Absolutely. And I think that's one thing we always need to focus on is just playing our game. I know uh, we've had a couple games that ended up with losses where we didn't necessarily stress our defense as much as we needed to. And I think just remembering and getting back to basics on what we're really good at and what we focused on in the entire season is how we're going to get through the rest of the season as well. Is the key to get them early, get them down early and put them down early? Uh, I think that's definitely the key. They're a struggling team. But at the same time, they've been competitive in all of their games in the conference so far. So I think just like we did against Maryville, just coming out with a lot of energy and just having that focus and drive right from the start is definitely going to push us through that first game. I go from one end of the spectrum to the other. Uh, shoots a lot of threes. They have two guards who just shoot them up. That's all they do. They just a lot of threes. Uh, that's where that defense comes in. Absolutely. And along with that, I think there's just that – instinctual competition or like drive to beat Drury. So I think just going into both games, you not only have that in the back of your mind, but just keeping keeping your focus and making sure we're having our scout uh, all played out and everything like that also plays a big factor. You know, not only is defense on those guys so they don't get their shots or have a harder time getting their shots, another key on defense when against a team that shoots threes, you've got to get that long rebound. You've got to be, you know, have an idea that this thing's going to go this way and be ready for that too, right? I think so. And I think for the most part this season, we've done a pretty good job of having active hands. I know every once in a while we'll need a reminder because we'd have a couple threes made in our face. But I think one thing we've really gotten better on in the past couple games is taking what we've learned in scout and really applying it right from the tip. And so I think that's one thing that we are definitely going to have to continue going into Drury's game. Offensively, your game's picked up here lately. What's been the difference? Honestly, I think the difference for me is I just – pick up my communication to my other teammates, whether it's cheering somebody on after a made free throw or just encouraging everybody after a stop or like helping everybody to get a stop. I think that's the big thing for me. The big game changer so far is just making sure I'm having energy and having the most fun I can on the court. And that's hopefully reflecting on my teammates and just upping everyone's offense too.